Hello and welcome to Cartex. This is a project that has been developed from scratch by me. It uses React Redux and it is, as you can see, an e commerce application. On the home page, you can see the top sellers and we can actually list them out. Here you can see the featured products. You can also go search for your favorite products. You can search for something else, say a shirt, and this will work. Here you can see different ways to sort your listing. If you just click on the left hand side, you'll see various categories that have been placed by different sellers. Now, let's say that if you want to buy a product called the Apple iPad, you'll go to its screen. And if you want to post a review, you'll have to sign in. Same goes for adding this to the cart. So let's try to buy an iPad. If I increase the quantity over here, we'll see that dynamically the total value will be updated. Let's try to buy a single iPad right now. When I click on checkout, it'll prompt me to a screen where I can either sign in or I can create new account. Let's try creating a new account over here. And great. Now we'll have a new account created and we get to go on the payment screen where we can specify our shipping address. Let's say I'll specify this autofill over here. We can choose between two different options, PayPal and Razorpay. Let's say I'll select PayPal over here. Now, this gives us the place for the screen wherein we can see our order item, the price, some other details if we want to specify some shipping or tax so this will be specified over here now let's go ahead and click on place order now we can see over here that the order is not delivered neither it has been paid let's try paying it by a demo paypal account Now the PayPal screen will pop open up and we'll be able to log in into our PayPal account and start with our payment process. The checkout screen redirects us to again our preferred mode of income, cards, etc. etc. And we can start paying using this account. Once the order is paid, we can dynamically see that when it was paid in our orders section. Now let's go back to our home page. I want to see my order history as a buyer. Can I see that? Of course, you can click on the order history section and see that whether your order was delivered or not. You can also see the total amount that you had spent, the date and the idea of your order. If you wish to change your password, you can directly go to the user profile section. And after that, you can also sign out. Now let's see what privileges do sellers enjoy on the same e-commerce platform. This is a seller's homepage. We can see that the seller has an additional tab wherein they can list different products. These are the products already been listed by this seller. They can create a product. Let's say I'll create a sample shirt. I'll push its price to 1000. I'll choose, uh, let's say, an image
I'll make this category as shirt. And I'll keep the brand as, or let's just say arrow. The stock count is 90. And I'll over here say, very good shirt. Now, once I click on update, we'll see our product being created. Now, this is the product that we just created right now. And we can see this is our seller name called seller. If we click over here, we can see our seller details being listed on the screen and all the products that this seller has created. Now let's move back to our home screen and try to see what all orders are over here. So this seller has one order and we can check its details. So the order was paid and right now it's not delivered. This is seller screen for now. We can also see how an admin user will behave now I'll sign up with my admin account. Now admin has another dashboard called the admin. We can see all the products listed over the admin dashboard. We can see the orders that have been created throughout the pages. We can also see the different users that have browsed our website. Now let's say that I want to give this iPad Pro a review. I'll simply give an excellent review. iPads are cool. So I'll just give it this review. And we'll see a pop-up saying the review has been submitted. And finally, we can see our review over here. Now, does it reload? Sure, we have one review. So this for now has been a project that I had started a couple of weeks ago. And just to show you, how different actions have been performing over here. This is the state management done by Redux. And it has been amazing in a sense that it has enabled me learn a lot, understand the intricacies involved in developing such a big website and understand that how we can better create such large scale projects. So if I say this, so the sorting also works. There is a lot to be done over here. I'm planning a full fledged admin dashboard right now. But as of now, this, this seems awesome. Leave a comment and let me know how you feel about this project and how, uh, what all features would you like to see over here? So thank you.